Hi, I'm back with another journal with me video in my regular size traveler's notebook. And this cover is the collaboration between Traveler's Company and Starbucks. And this is a letter folder that I got from Lady Falcon's Traveler and I absolutely love it. And if you guys are interested in getting any of the items from uh, Lady Falcon's Travelers, Monique has been very kind to share a discount code with me that I can share with all of you. And if you use my code, I will get a uh, 50 uh, sorry, not 15% discount. You guys will get a 15% discount, but I will get bonus point in turns. So anyway, let's start my uh, journaling. So first, I'm taking out this huge file of my vintage paper. Um, I got this A5 size file to file in all my vintage papers or any type of paper that I regularly use in my journal. So here I'm just picking out a few to form again uh, like my regular collage. This one I especially like. It has a very nice texture and is the, the brown color is vintage and yeah I, I absolutely love to use that paper to form my collage. Next, I'm taking out this onion skin uh, paper as well, and I am going to stamp an image on it. It's the little, oh, sorry, before that I have another one. This I just recently bought it at that time. It's from Journal Pages. I think it's a collaboration too. Journal Pages with hmm, I can't remember what is the another company's name, but uh, I'll link everything down below. And I think now they have this craft paper version as well as the tracing paper version. Yep, it's absolutely gorgeous, but I got this white color one instead. I mean white paper uh, instead. So I'm gonna stamp an image on this onion skin paper. It's this image from a uh, called Leonardo da Vinci. And I made a mistake by using the Sanchihata ink pad because Regular ink pads don't dry well on onion skin paper. I usually use the stays on, but I do not know why I've forgotten this one. Anyway, you'll see me struggling with this, and I ended up didn't use this as part of my collage. And by the way guys, I'm really sorry that I didn't manage to upload this at the early of the week like I usually do. Normally on either Sunday night or Monday night but I was a bit busy this start of the week and I only managed to do my voiceover now which is already a Thursday night and tomorrow is Friday which is coming to the end of the week but anyways I hope you guys don't mind the delay I still want to share my uh, journal setup with all of you and um, this is actually, I think I really did um, <laughs> wasting my time here doing this because it wouldn't dry. Uh, it may, I think, after a long while, but I do not have the patience to wait for that to happen. So I think I, I really ended up in using this. Hmm. But I like how it turns out though with this like lettering as the backing or the yeah as the backing as the um, some sort like a uh, a deco to the Leonardo da Vinci image. But well, too bad it, I've forgotten why I didn't use the stays on instead. After a while, I noticed that the ink won't dry, so. I think I gave up this creation <laughs> and I just uh, put it aside to see when it will dry and yeah. Yeah, I think it turns out quite nice, just that uh, I used the wrong stamp in pad. So here I'm showing you, as you can see, it's it's smeared and yeah it just wouldn't dry so 
here I made a very very hard decision to just give up on that uh, onion skin paper here I'm just tearing out this piece uh, as part of my collage and I'm gonna tear out this piece as well I think sorry it's been a while since I recorded this so I don't 100% remember what I did yep I did tear this out and here I still wanted to do the last what you call this struggle to try to incorporate that Da Vinci but I gave up in the end and this is a new stem that I just got surprise surprise <laughs> no not a surprise I guess I bought stems um, regularly all the time so I'm going to stamp this wording image on this um, journal pages paper. Uh, it's a... I've forgotten what is this. There, there are a few sets of this stem and I didn't choose one. But all of them are absolutely gorgeous and it has different themes. It's, it has like one of them is like a jungle theme. And it all, all of the sets have wordings and one picture stem. For this, I got the one with the pen picture. And this is another stamp that I love to use. It has like a Japanese wording on it. It's small, it's cute, it's nice. I got this from Taobao. Yeah. I think the maker or the manufacturer is called Blank Book. I love their stamp. It's absolutely adorable. This uh, is from 10 to 10. This is like a leaves or plant stem. So I think I'm done with my stem layering on this paper. You know, guys, I just saw, I don't know, I don't know why now, only I saw the Hobonichi uh, new release coming. Started. They're going to start their sales on September 1st, right? I'm very excited because I plan to get something. Um, now, actually, I plan to get an A5 Day Free and this AVEC in A6. Here, I'm just going to distress all my paper. So, as I was talking about the Halbanichi. Uh, lineup. I was very excited because uh, I think some of you who has been following me will know that I do journal in the A6 Midori One Day One Page Diary. I absolutely love the layout. Um, I love how I love the paper and everything. But one thing um, I won't say I don't like. One of the disadvantages is is because it's One Day One Page for a whole year. So if I do too much of a paper collage in there, it's going to get way too thick. So I ended up using stamps more, which is a good thing, but then I love paper collages. So uh, for next year, 2021, I've decided to switch to Hobonichi A6 in AVEC so that I get half a year in a book and another half a year in another book. With that, I think I can do more paper collages in there. And the A5, I wanted to try something new. I have this, I have this um, sort of a, well, how do you say it? Um, the urge to try to journal in something bigger. I will still journal in my regular size. That is my, you know, permanent thing here. But uh, once in a while, I would, I would like to you know venture outside a little bit, but not letting go of this. Of course, uh, this regular size is like it's already my journal piece, final piece, but journal piece. So yeah, 
Well, sorry about the babbling in the homonichi. I'm just so excited that I, you know, will be able to get some of this 2021 new journal or planner in a few more days. Sorry, back to my journaling here. I stuck on uh, this one of this Amio sticker, the blue color one, in my journal pages paper. And here I'm taking this label paper uh, to form part of the collage as well. And of course, vintage tickets. I'm uh, vintage tickets is one of my. Uh, favorite to use in my vintage team setup. And here I'm going to stamp down this um, numbering, uh, wording, image stamp. What is the brand called? I can't remember. It's quite popular among journaling, no, I wouldn't say journaling community, but all among the journal supplies or among the stamps maker. Hmm. Lamp papery, yes. Oh my gosh. Now I remember. And that paper pad is a collaboration between journal pages and lamp papery as well. Ha, huh. now I finally remember. Oh and that piece of paper that piece of label is actually a sticker. So I'm gonna use my team holds tiny attacher to um, put everything together before I stick everything down. There we go. I think it looks quite cute. Next, I'm gonna put down this girl sticker there. You know, I do not know why uh, in whatever team I, use, uh, I do, girl sticker seems to go with everything, even in vintage team. Hmm. That's why I have tons of girl stickers, especially the LDV ones. La Dolce Vita. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Only I call it LDV. And here are these are. I'm gonna use these three cute stamps, and they are like those that says uh, "handle with care," you know, breakable. Uh, what else? There's an umbrella there and. There's this breakable and the hand gesture thing. Yep. Anyway, it's absolutely adorable. I love the size. I think it's from one of the local stamp maker. I can't remember. Anyway, I'll link everything down below in my uh, pinned comment. I usually do my update my comment with my all these journaling supplies by within 24 hours that means by the next day after i uploaded this i think i mentioned this before because i use my handphone to do the editing so i will use my handphone to upload it then i'll sort of leave it overnight because it takes quite a while to upload the video so i would normally upload it before i sleep and of course by i think within two or three hours it would have been uploaded and I would have been asleep and all the comments and description are still empty at the time. I'm really sorry guys about that. Um, but during working days that I can only do that because you know I have to sleep after I do my voiceover so yeah I, I won't be able to stay up to wait for it to complete the uploading. Very sorry about the babbling just that I hope you guys understand that sometimes the description and the pin comment won't be available right away after my video is up. It's normally within 24 hours I will be able to update everything. And I really appreciate you guys to uh, have been supporting and watching my video all the time and uh, have, leaving, have been leaving lovely comments and yeah actually that those are motivations for me to do more of this video. Again, sorry for the babbling. So back to my journal with me and here I'm taking out this um, paper pad that I got again from Taobao and using this stamp with some, some English wording to create a sort of like a background on the paper pad. And 
this uh, I use my Tim Holtz die cut to cut it out and it's gorgeous I really love that leaf skeleton thingy and I think I cut this out quite some time ago and I've been saving it so I'm gonna use it now I did distress it a little bit so that the outline of the leaves is more um, visible and I think the, the, the effect is absolutely gorgeous Now the tricky part is to stick it down because it's a skeleton like leaves image so you have lots of holes there you can't really use the glue to just slide it over you can use glue stick as well you can use glue tape as well so yeah it takes um, some skill to put the glue down yeah. and here I'm just stamping some most uh, postage image on the paper pad using the red sachiata ink pad and now I have I put the die cuts down I think I did I did off camera very sorry yeah I did it off camera with this regular glue but with a very sharp tip yeah that's the trick and here I'm just gonna stamp down the date, the date with this shiny date stamp there we go, it's 19th of July, oh my gosh, and now it's already end of August. Guys, I'm sorry of the delay, but, uh, well, I mean, it's the, I just want to share the setup, so the date is actually irrelevant here. Just ignore the date, <laughs> yeah. Here I'm just going uh, to distress my page with the ink pad directly first, the stamp pad directly, to have a more uh, darker color at the edge. And then I'm gonna go in with my blending tool. Wonder why I didn't put in the day. Did I put it later on? And here comes my blending tool. Yep. And that's done. So now I am going to write in my thoughts and memories using the Tree Speed Fountain Pen. And this is the D. Atramentis Ink document ink in brown color. And this Tree Speed is a uh, eco. Uh, it's called Eco. No, I don't. I, I can't remember the full name, but it will be in my description box below. I've listed down the fountain pen that I use as well, and this I know is a special edition. It's a one-off production, so after they are finished, they won't be. I think they won't be reproducing. That's my understanding from the description when I bought this. And here I am done writing and I saw that there's some empty space on the left hand corner at the bottom there so I'm going in with uh, this wording sticker from Tim Holtz ideology and I love to use the black background sticker I think it stands out more oh, I thought I'm gonna stick it on the left hand side but no nope, I'm gonna stick it on the right hand <laughs> and um, yeah I think that's it yes so thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoy my video and my narration <laughs> sometimes i do babble a lot do forgive me and yep thank you guys for watching again stay safe and um, see you guys next time bye